this spot right here was the original uh, location for the house. This is where we ended up putting the house just because it didn't give us the adequate approach that we wanted. And at the time when I did this pad with a dozer, it was way more narrow. It was about right here. So I spent the last two or three days using the backhoe and I not only dug into the hill, but I dumped a lot of that excess dirt out here to do a couple different things. What I first wanted to do is have a pad up here for my sawmill. Now I gave $1,200 for the uh, uh, tractor and I put a little bit of money into it. But I think I gave 250 bucks for that Gannon. And I specifically wanted this Gannon because the ripper teeth are not stationary. This is a, a good quality heavy duty Gannon. Although the teeth are about shot, but I'm still able to use these teeth for what I need to do. Now, uh, just using the tractor, maybe half an hour or 45 minutes, I've been able to get the, uh, the soil already spread out. I can still see there's a couple low spots. There's a low spot over here. There's also a low spot way over there. Um, but it's, it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Now, every time I make a pass and I can see the teeth going in a certain direction, I try to cross it. Um, like the hashtag sign. I try to, I try to go uh, in circles a lot. I try to go just over and over. And what that does is it breaks up the soil in a way where eventually I'll fold those teeth up and use the box cannon and just move the dirt around. It's a little bit gummy right now, so I, I hope I can get this finished this afternoon. But uh, we hope to have, um, this may be where we put our greenhouse up here. You know, because we chose to, to build our house on a hill, you know, we may have three or four places like this that have kind of these, these uh, pads cut into the hill. Uh, once I have all the trees off the side of the hill, I will, um, I will taper that back a little bit so it's not as prone to, to maybe sliding off. But uh, I may even stack some rocks against that at some point in time. But a couple days worth of work and I've got a, about a 60 by 150 pad that I can do quite a bit of stuff on. I'll move the trailers up here, get those away from the house. Uh, I'll, I'll keep the tractors up here. I'll keep the backhoe up here. Um, you know, I'll probably build a little small barn to keep maybe the horses in. Haven't quite decided where I'm going to do that yet. Uh, milk cow, things like that. Um, I'll see what the wife wants to do with the chicken coop if she wants it up here. Um, what I may end up doing is putting the greenhouse up here. I really want to get into to aquaponics and uh, I, I want to get a place where I can have a greenhouse and, and garden all year round. But uh, like I said, a um, little bit of effort using that uh, floating Gannon, um, that three point. Um, I can do everything I need to do around here. It's not going to be dead nuts perfect, but it'll be definitely good enough for me. But part of the trick is just learning to get the the soil the right consistency to move around um, for your tractor. This tractor is a, a 65 horse tractor, but if I get too much weight behind it, it just turns those wheels. And so it's kind of a getting used to your equipment, and a, a guessing game. That backhoe, I think a backhoe and a grading tractor are probably the two most important things on a homestead.
Okay, I've got all the rocks and stuff moved off that I need to. I think it's dry enough to start using the uh, box blade on the on the uh, box cannon and just start moving the dirt around from low to high. Um, I, I just simply do this by using my, my eyes. I'm not trying to laser level this thing by any means. It's close enough already as it is. But I do want to try and prevent uh, pooling, things like that. Um, and so I'm gonna move this dirt around and, and kind of let it find the high and low spots.
I started to where it is now, I'm really happy with it. There is still a little low spot over there, a little low spot here. I'm gonna let it dry through the weekend, maybe hit it one more time, but this is a million percent better from where I started. So just takes time and patience, which sometimes I'm not very good at, but 